So the only thing I've got left to do on this chainsaw now, and since it's perfect, is put a fuel filter on it inside. It's simple, I'll do that another day. This is perfect. Go on, I've got myself another one. This one is uh, a Mac 441. Now I believe there's a part of Husqvarna. I may be wrong, I don't know for sure. I just saw something many months back and when I when I saw this I thought, oh, I'll have to go and pick that up. So here we go. Now, I don't know whether it works. It was not supposed to work. Um, when I got it from some guy who lives on a boat over in Canvey. Bloody good walking around that boat yard, I tell you. Nice little place. He had uh, lots of boats and everything in there. It's pretty sweet. I wouldn't mind living on a boat. That'd be pretty awesome. Anyway, let's see if this is going to work. First of all, let's see if it's actually going to start up on its own. No, I don't think it's going to go, so it fired. It's probably just a blocked air fuel or something. Let's have a look, let's get into it, shall we? Well, there is no air filter, so it can't be that much blocked. Let's see what we can do here. Let's get the old plug out, shall we? Ah. Interesting. So it's neither of those sizes. It's got an odd, odd sized plug in it. Yeah. Very, 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 very wet. There's loads of fuel going in there. So. Give it a properly good old clean. Give it a bit of a wipe off. That's much better now, isn't it? Much better. Check the old spark. So if we can get this to run, if we can get this to run now, I've got myself two good working chainsaws. Right. Oh yeah. We got a good old spark there. I wonder if you're about to see that. Should be able to. See that? A lovely old spark there. Let's get that back in there then. Do that up. Now, let's just, while we're here, check. Trust them to be 8mm. I bet they're 8. They're 8mm. I ain't got an 8. I might have an 8 in this one. I lost me 8 a long time ago. 
I left it on the engine of a car. Where did that go? I left it on the engine of a car, and uh, I drove off. And I heard this dinging sound, and there was me eight mil flown down the road. I never did find it. I looked everywhere, but I never did find it. So there we go. Right, so I've got my screwdriver here. Let's. It's not good enough. Where's my other one? Right, let's make some adjustment to that. Close the choke and see what happens. Huh. That might work, but then I it. All right, let's open up the choke and see what happens then. Nothing. Well, we might have to take it apart to see what we've got in here. I don't know, can't really. It did fire, so I wonder if it can't be a fuel in trouble. Might just add it. But we definitely got a spark. We saw the spark, didn't we? What's going on here then? Right, I've got the carb off. You can see how much fuel is in the bottom there where the carb sits. And we appear to have the same, or near enough, the same carb as what is actually in the other one. A Warbro carb, nearly the same as what was in the other one. So let's, we've got a screwdriver. Let's take off this little plate to see if the diaphragm's at it in this one as well. Because I didn't film it, but I can get this one to run, but it seems as if the fuel is coming, there's too much fuel there because it's coming back out of the air inlet you know so we need to have a look to see what the trouble is I may have to get yeah yeah I think that's the trouble if we can get a look at that the diaphragm it's all loose it shouldn't be like that that should be fairly tight across there and all you have to do is well not you but what happens is that should be all nice and tight along there and then what happens is that just kind of moves up and down in one go but as you can see maybe you better see it better if I don't get my fingers in the way and I don't drop it on the floor but that diaphragm It's all loose around there. Shouldn't be like that. If you saw the other one, where well, I rebuilt the carb for that other chainsaw, you would have seen the new diaphragm that went in. That was all nice and um, stiff. 
I suppose is the word. Let's check the other side, see what the other side is. I have got a kit, but it isn't the same uh, as this one, so I'm going to have to buy another, another seal kit for this carb. See, that looks like it's had a new... It's had a bit of a rebuild recently by the looks of things. Because that one doesn't look original, but it might be. It just doesn't look like it, that's all. But there's nothing wrong with it. That's, that's not split or anything in any way. So that's not the trouble. I reckon it's that diaphragm on the other side that's causing our issues. So I'm gonna gonna go and order another diaphragm kit, or well, seal kit, I should say. And then we should be well away by then. Let's have a little bit of spray. Trouble is, whenever I spray that, and I spray them too close to the camera, when I go to take my camera indoors to get the card out, ready to edit the video, it's just covered in bloody carb spray or brake cleaner. All over the place, all over the lens. I'm surprised it don't show up in the videos, little spots of brake cleaner and carb spray all over the place. But yeah, that's our issue. Oh, has it even got a split in it? No, it hasn't got a split in it, but... <laughs> I'm near enough, 100% sure, that diaphragm is the issue, so. There we go. I have to take that apart and get that going again. Oh, there we go. It's gone and, it's gone and fallen off by itself, and there's not even a gasket. Oh, no, there is a gasket. There it is. The gasket's attached to it. But that's basically all it is, and this is actually giving me a good chance to show you what's inside it. I didn't show you in the other one. So we've got ourselves a little spring here. Hopefully we can see that all right. Hopefully we can. Yeah, it looks like it. So we've got a little spring with a little needle valve that goes up and down and shuts the fuel on and off. And then we've got a fuel pipe that comes in here. Well, it actually goes out there. And that one's on the other side. So yeah. It's as simple as that, I'm afraid. There's not a lot to it on these little ones. Make sure that's nice and tight. Yep. So there's not a lot to it. So there's there's the diaphragm. All had it. So let's get another one. So let's have a while well, we've got it. While we're here, let's have a look to see exactly what we got. It appears to be. So Mac. Uh, Oh, here we go. The old battery died. I knew it was going to die because it wouldn't focus. And when it don't focus, it means the battery's going to die. I know my camera. Anyway, Mac 441 Fortrex Air System. Oh, it's interesting to know. Yeah, we should have a plate around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. What's that under there? Look. What's that under there? We got there. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So. I wonder if that means it was made in 2002. It's interesting, isn't it? Serial number's gone, all that rubbish is gone. Oh, well, we've got that over it. So I reckon it's a 2002 Australia. Hmm. There we go. A little bit of a clutch system on the side. Yeah, seems like a nice chainsaw, actually. It's probably, I'd say, it's more than likely bigger than the other one I've got, but I think I may end up just keeping the other one and selling this one because I'm going to keep the chainsaw because they're handy because the the land that I'm allowed to go and ride on has a load of woods and there's a load of trees that have fallen over so I'm going to go and cut all the trees up that have fallen over and cut them into logs and, and the landowner will go and take them and use them for firewood and plus it means I can have a ride on there but yeah, that's what we've that's what we've got. So there's the old carb. Here we go, sitting down there, nice and happily. Oh, bro, what one is actually this one? Let's have a look. Oh, uh, the other one. What was the other one? A W nine or something. And this one is a oh yeah, W T nine or something. This one is a W T five nine one. Ah, there we go. But they're very, they're pretty much all the same. Very common. If you watch the other video, you will see that this is near enough exactly the same 
with the exception of this one's got an automatic choke cut off thingy. So you put the choke on and the minute you press the throttle it takes the choke off. You're supposed to start it on the choke when it's cold without any throttle. Which is annoying for me really because I was given a little bit of throttle but you're not supposed to do. So that's that. Other than that, that's all that is.